Hi everyone, welcome. In this series of videos, we are going to talk about a production planning and optimization problem where uh, we try to determine production quantities under changing demand values. First, we are going to uh, model the problem as an optimization problem and we're going to solve it. And then uh, we will use a heuristic for larger sizes of problems. We will first introduce the heuristic. The heuristic is called the silver meal, uh, a famous heuristic. And then we are going to just implement heuristic as a VBA, a visual basic uh, application uh, model. Okay, stay tuned. And if you like the video, please subscribe or comment below. Now, let's uh, just start with this uh, template here we have a certain number of variables first we have the determined production quantities and then if there is any production quantity then the production order has to be one otherwise it has to be a zero value and then whenever there is going to be an inventory we are going to have an inventory holding cost for that period and whenever if there is a production order there is going to be an ordering cost or you could just call it as a setup cost Okay, and then we are going to just build the model using a, you know help of a linking variable and big M. Big M is is just a, going to be a number. Uh, okay, now so let's just first maybe come up with an idea. Let's say the demand is here. Uh, the total demand for 12 periods 146 units we could just decide to produce 146 in period one and then that's going to be sufficient enough for us we will just hold this inventory until the end we will just use the demand to satisfy and let's just take a look at the so the other production quantities are all going to be zero this is just one policy that could be implemented correct so we could just say that hey I just want to produce in the first period and then not do not produce anything it's just one option so let's just try to look at the inventory levels when the production quantity here there is going to be an initial inventory and we're assuming that the initial inventory is zero so the inventory is going to be the initial inventory put the dollar sign there just so that we could copy and paste without you know changing that cell and then we are going to plus the production quantity and then the minus the demand the inventory is going to be equal to 144 at the end of the period one and period two is going to take this inventory 144 and it is going to add the second production quantity here and then it is going to subtract the demand value okay so right now there is no production quantity here but um, it there could be something now it just goes down to 132 and just goes down to zero so the inventory is going to just start from 146 and going to go down to gradually go down to zero in 12 periods and the production order because we have a quantity here 146 it is one and there is the others are there is no other production now let's just try to calculate the holding cost and because we are holding 144 units of inventory the holding cost is going to be 144 times the holding cost per unit per period and that is $144 and the rest is just going down like that and the setup cost is if there is a setup there is one here then we pay $40 okay and then we don't pay anything else so here so we have the holding cost, we have the setup cost, and the total cost is going to be equal to sum of all those cost values, and that ends up to be $954. Let's just take a look at this situation here. The production quantity and inventory, if I try to graph this in here, insert a, maybe a combo box, combo chart, I'm sorry, 
and here is the situation we produced 146 units and then our inventory goes down to zero over time so let's try another approach and the other approach is going to be hey uh, instead of doing this remember this 954 let's just produce the exact amount in each period okay so I'm just going to paste them here and the inventory is going to be zero so this is like a just in time but the production order is going to be all one all the time so in here there is no inventory but we have a lot of orders so the production quantities for every period so we pay forty dollars in each time and the cost is four hundred and eighty dollars so this is seems to be better approach than what it is a better approach than just producing once and then using it all the time until it goes down inventory goes down to zero but is this uh, there is there a third way is there a better option so we will try to kind of find that way and we are going to use the optimization approach for this so how do we use optimization approach what we're going to do is we are going to assume that these are the values that we try to determine the production quantities and these are the values that whenever there is a production quantity this value have to be values have to be zero, uh, one otherwise these values have to be zero but we are not going to put an if statement in here because an if statement makes the problem non-linear we just want to keep the problem linear although it's integer just want to keep it as linear okay and how do we do that is we're going to use a linking variable so how are we going to link this uh, production quantity and production order is that we are going to multiply the this column E values with a number called big M and the big M is going to be the largest possible production amount that we could think of in here and we know that the, because the demand is only total is 146 the big M is going to be equal to some of these demand values so we won't produce more than 146 units because we know that once we produce 146 that's going to be sufficient enough for this planning period okay so the big M is 146 we're going to explain how this big M works so the linking variable is going to then multiply this production order times the big M okay and this is 146 and the linking variable is done now everything is all set we need to determine now we need to use the solver to uh, to find the optimal production quantity and I'll explain then how this linking variable works so we'll go to data and solver if it is not there there's no magic so you cannot just say that uh, hocus pocus uh, something and then the solver may appear in in a couple of years I think uh, you there's going to be something here you will just say uh, Cortana whatever it is hey install solver and it's going to install solver for you but right now we have to just uh, use our magic here we could just press alt T and I one by one sequentially not all together and that's our magic word alt TI so alt ti just brings up the add-ins and the solver add-in is there and this is just for the pc users and the mac users just uh, look for the solver add-in how to uh, install it you're going to be able to find it in in google okay so once your solver is in there under the data tab i'm just going to click on the solver and it looks like I put everything in there so let me just reset all so just do this uh, one more time together and what we want is uh, we our objective is the cost and we want to minimize that minimize the cost 
and by changing variables we have two sets of variables here the production quantities and the comma and the production orders okay we are changing those variables and now we're going to put the constraints the first constraint is that our production orders these are so they have to be binaries so they have to be either zero or one and the second constraint is we are going to assume that the inventory is here they are never negative so we are not allowing for back orders although you could just modify this and maybe allow for some back orders and but slightly modified version of this we're going to assume that these all these inventory values are at least a zero okay and then uh, what else do we have so we could also enforce like the ending inventory to be equal to a certain number so let's just do that and we could say that this ending inventory last one is equal to this ending inventory here okay and because it's a cost minimization problem and because this is zero it is always going to be zero it is not we are not going to produce more than what you need anyways and then we are going to just put this key constraint set and that is that the production quantities should be less than or equal to the linking variable okay now oops uh, production quantities are less than or equal to the linking variables and then we click OK now how does this work the production quantity less than or equal to the linking variable let's say if the production quantity is um, two and what's going to happen is that the two then we're going to say two is less than or equal to the production order this cell times uh, big M 146 so it is going to be 146 times this value if the solver puts 2 in here then 2 is never going to be uh, less than 0 if the solver puts 0 in here solver will try to put a 0 in here at the first place because if it puts 0 in there there is not going to be a charge of $40 though it will try to minimize the cost it will try to put a zero but if the production quantity is higher than zero then the result will not be feasible and to make the result feasible what's going to happen is that the solver if it is needed if it is required then the, the solver is going to put a production quantity a larger amount than uh, zero here and the solver has to put a, val put a value of one in the production order so once you have that the zeros and ones are going to be used if only if needed okay so i think everything is all set if i did not forget anything i'm just going to click on solve see it is uh okay it looks like i may have used uh let's just see what solver did i use simplex lp okay so everything is good and the result has been found the cost is $295 it is uh, much less than the second option and this is your production plan what's happening here is that you produce 18 units in the first period that is going to be sufficient enough for the first three periods and then you are going to produce 23 units to cover period four and five and then 50 units to cover 6, 7, and 8, 35 units to cover 9, 10, and 11, and finally you are going to produce 20 units to cover period 12. And here is your inventories, and here are your production quantities, and this is the, the solver way of finding your optimal production quantities to minimize your total cost now 
As you have seen, the solver did not just come up with an answer right away. It took a little bit of time to find the optimal solution. And if this model is large, then what's going to happen is that the solver is going to take much longer time and may not be able to find the best solution for you. So in that case, uh, there's a need for a heuristic. And a famous heuristic is called the silver mill heuristic. In the second video, we are going to just cover the silver mill heuristic as part of this discussion. Thanks for watching.